Welcome to the APROS demonstration video of concentrated solar power applications. This video presents a dynamic model of a molten salt solar tower plant. APROS is a dynamic process simulation software for energy systems. It can be used for enhanced simulation of thermal power plants. APROS is a vendor independent dynamic simulation and analysis software product with a solid reference list in the field of power plant processes. The modeling capabilities related to renewable energy include, for example, concentrated solar power components and plants, hybrid renewable energy plants such as CSP biomass hybrids, and energy systems. The software is owned and developed by VTT Technical Research Center of Finland and Fortum. Let's look into concentrated solar power applications. The typical uses of APRES would be here dimensioning, simulation, analysis of different components and systems, such as different collector or receiver designs, the testing and improving of control systems, the optimization of operation strategies, and the testing of different plant configurations with different component designs and, and heat transfer fluids. Direct steam generation and different heat transfer fluids such as molten salts, oils and supercritical carbon dioxide can be applied. The software can be utilized for multiple purposes, from R&D to engineering and to operation support and training. Now we'll see a demonstration of specific molten salt solar tower plant configuration. A key benefit of APROS is that it provides an integrated modeling environment for different types of models. The different parts of the molten salt solar tower plant model can be modified by the user in a flexible manner. The model includes a computationally efficient approximated ray tracing process for a heliostat field optical modeling, a thermal model for the central receiver, a two-tank molten salt thermal energy storage system, a complete power block model, and a realistic automation and instrumentation system. The molten salt fluid model is an example of an extendable user-definable liquid and gas mechanism of APROS. This figure shows the main components within the model. A component for heliostat field optical calculation, a component for the thermal performance of the central receiver, measured irradiation data or irradiance generator component, a model for the two-tank molten salt thermal energy storage system, steam generator components, and power block and generator components. These components can be used as building blocks for comprehensive plant or subsystem models for detailed dynamic analysis through the flexible integrated user interface. The model is built up of three different diagrams. On the first one, we have irradiance generation, heliostat field and receiver. On the second one, we have two tank storage system. And the third one has the steam generator and power block. All control loops are inter integrated into the model. The heliostat field optical calculation is performed in a single component, earlier referred to as being an external component. We'll next see what it means. The openness of APRO simulation platform allows the inclusion of external functions into the simulation between time steps. One example is the heliostat field optical performance code which is implemented in C language. The code outputs the heat flux distribution at the receiver surface at required time intervals in APRES, and it's based on approximated ray tracing process, and it takes into account losses related to cosine loss, local atmospheric attenuation, reflectance, blocking, shading, and spill losses. The model is both accurate and high performance. The optical heliostat field model 
can utilize direct beam irradiance measurement data to accurately simulate real-world conditions. An alternative option would be to use Abra's process component to generate an estimate for direct irradiation in a certain location. This component is the receiver model. It's a part of the Abra's fluid system. As the receiver model is a part of the Abra's process network, everything related to the model will be solved in real time together with the Abra's model. Heat losses are modeled with a correlation applicable to a wide range of receiver designs. Also user specific, user defined heat loss correlations can be given, derived for example from CFD models or from empirical data. This model uses molten salt as heat transfer fluid, but also other heat transfer fluids can be used. The homogeneous three equation flow model is recommended for single phase heat transfer fluids, whereas heterogeneous six equation flow model is available in the case of direct steam generation. The model for the thermal energy storage system is composed of hot and cold storage tanks. The storage system uncouples the thermal energy production and electricity generation. The simulation of storage operations is based on a model of a molten salt mixture called HITECH. It's implemented using another extension interface of APROS, the user-definable liquid and non-condensable gas mechanism available for the homogeneous flow model. For the modeling of heat losses in storage tanks, one can use tank models which include heat structures. A comprehensive model for the heat exchanger drain and power block supports the analysis of performance on system level and interactions between different components. The molten salt flow lines are here shown as red and the water and steam as blue. The APRES process component model library provides standard components for turbines heat exchangers, and other equipment needed for the heat exchanger drain and power block modeling. The inputs of the process component models include the physical dimensions and basic correlations, and these are given according to the level of detail desired in a specific model. The model is a flexible tool for the testing and analysis of different integration schemes between the storage system and the power block, different steam generator configurations, power block configurations and controls, and different plant operation schemes, such as base load production versus load following production. All required control loops are integrated to the process models using the same graphical environment. The video shows the control loop for molten salt pump, which transfers the hot salt from the storage tank to the heat exchanger drain. This model uses simple PI control loops, but the environment is very flexible and open for trying out different control systems and strategies. Also, external automation models can be integrated to APRES via a DLL interface or the OPC interface. Let's take another look at the whole model and APRES user interface. APRES is really powerful in simulation time performance, and this example model can easily run faster than real time. 50 times or even hundreds of times faster than real time, depending on the level of detail and the time step. During the simulation, one can select and monitor just about any values related to the process and control systems to be shown on the model diagram and also to record these to external files. For some process components, Animations of shapes and colors can be used to indicate the state of the process. The chart package can be used for monitoring different dynamic variables. And also any variables that have been picked to charts can be then copy-pasted 
through the clipboard to any other applications. The graphical user interface with all its functionalities makes the modeling and simulation of large and complex processes easy to use. If you want to know more, please don't hesitate to contact us at VTT Technical Research Center of Finland.